back, part four, tutorial 19. We've now successfully got our three V boxes. We've done our, you know, we've done our overview of Chef and what we're doing. We've got our three V boxes. We've now completely finished our Chef server for the moment. That's all done and dusted. We move on to the Chef workstation. So let's log into the Chef workstation again. I've just dragged it back onto, whoops, uh, dragged it back onto my screen here. So we're back in where we left it. Um, let's you let's do a sudo su get ourselves in as root and use the right password. Often good advice. Um, right, so here we are. The first thing we need to do, we know we can ping chef server dot limited dot com. That's interesting. More slash etc slash hosts. Have I just spelled that wrong? That's interesting. <laughs> I have, I've spelt it wrong. Oh, it's so easy when you look at these. Oh, I'm glad I noticed that. Excellent, right. Now it'll work. Lovely. Okay. I'm glad I checked that, actually. That was just a pure off-the-cuff, give it a go. Uh, what we're going to need to do first is we're going to curl, so C-U-R-L, minus L, H-T-P-S. We've got to get... Um, the ops code package, the install for Ruby, and all the other packages that we're going to need for Chef. So there's a lovely handy package on opscode.com slash chef slash install dot sure. Don't hit return though, pipe that to a bash so it'll actually run it. That will go off and, inst and run the install script and install what we need to install on this machine. Again, if I didn't have typeitis, my apologies. So that's going to install all the prerequisites that we're going to need to make this our chef workstation. Once that's run, which should only take a couple of more seconds. Excellent, we can do a chef solo minus V and see what version we are. There we go, 12.4, perfect. So now we have that, we can uh, CD. That's fine, we're in here. We need to open up a web browser. And on our web browser, we need to go to the chef server dot sassify limited dot com. Ignore the warnings, as I said before, we need to log in as e Killian, our user that we created, whether you whatever user you created, you need to go to admin. Um, but, 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 there's a policy environments. Oh, I can't remember where it is now. Um, da, 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 da. Starter kit. I don't know. Ah, click on Sassify and get the starter kit. That's what we want. And download that starter kit. Proceed. It'll come in here. That will come into Aim and Killian. So we want to move uh, slash home slash e killian slash downloads um is it s no. chef chef starter dot zip oh to dot so now we have that in the slash root directory we need to unzip it that's fine now we have our chef repo 
We'll CD to Chef Repo. CD to Dot Chef. We're going to make a directory under here called trusted underscore certs. We're then going to copy over the trusted cert from our server. So I'm just going to temporarily bring up our chef server. Um, so this is now back on the chef server. On the chef server, I'm going to go to var, um, where is this again? Opt, ops code, uh, engine x, uh, certificate authority. Yep, yeah, perfect, right. We want to SCP um, the chef server dot sassify limited dot com dot CRT file to chef workstation to root at the chef workstation. Right, that's fine. Done that. Back on our chef workstation. Um, PWD CD LS. Perfect. We want to move chef server to chef repo slash dot chef slash trusted cert. Lovely. That's fine. Now we've done that and ignore the phone. Um, we now need to, so we've got our trusted search. We now need to do a knife SSL check. Local horse, local host port 443. That's interesting. That's better. You've got to be in the chef repo directory. Perfect. That's what we want to see. Successfully verified the certificates. So that's fine. We are now good on our chef workstation. We're absolutely fine. We can knife things to the chef workstation and that is two out of three complete. So our chef workstation is finished. We've got our CRT on there from the chef server. We've loaded our chef repo from the starter kit. So our chef workstation is done. Move on to part four, I believe, of tutorial 19 to cover, part five it might even be, to cover um, the chef node. That's the last one left. See you in a minute. On the home straight now, we have a chef server and a chef workstation, all fully configured, ready to go. So we will now log in to the chef node. I can remember the password. Oh, and I still have my ping guy. Um, whoops. Okay, so, uh, well, we know we can see the workstation. We can ping the uh, chef server as well. Yeah, that's fine. So this is all working good. We're sudo su minus. Um, and all we need to do on this machine, this is a completely vanilla install. Remember, all we did was set up the networking. All we need to do now is vi slash etc ssh uh, sshd config. And you just need to whiz down here to permit root login and x to take that hash out. 
So we need to do um, uh, service SSHD restart. That will restart the SSD service, and that's it. Now we go back to our Chef workstation where everything is up and running and we know we've got good certificates. We now want to bootstrap that node. Knife, bootstrap, fingers crossed, Chef node. Password for the Chef node is that. Give that a couple of minutes to run. Looks good. Excellent. So, get rid of the workstation. Go back to the server. Here's our server. I just want to go back into the server. I want to reload. I want to go to nodes. And there she is. There's our chef node. So we have successfully added the chef node. So that's really, really good. We can triple check this by now going back to the chef node we can vi slash etc slash uh, i tell you what i'm going to write a recipe to do that in a minute as our sample recipe so instead of doing that i'm just going to go chef client and this is what will run periodically on a cron job once we set it up that will actually just check with the server it's got nothing to do but it's checked with the server and it's absolutely as it should be so that's our lab. That's it all set up. What have we got left to do? Well, I'll tell you what we've got left to do. Now we get to the exciting things. Let's write some recipes as examples. So um, I'll call this part 4B. Um, I'll stick it all under part 4. So we have done parts 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have created our entire chef lab and it's all up and running and everything's ready to go. We can now do part 5 and write some sample recipes. So join me in part five for some sample recipes.